Welcome back to Principles of Engineering. Uh, what you'll see up here is a truss that we're going to work on. We're going to do a quick analysis here. Uh, and as we look at this truss, what I've drawn out is a truss with five joints, A, B, C, D, and E, a pin at E, a roller at D, and a load at A, 500 pounds, a load at B, 500 pounds also. Now before we do any truss analysis, the first thing we want to talk about is, is the truss determinant? So what I've written here is the equation for determining whether it's determinant, uh, and that is 2j equals m plus r, where j is the number of trusses in blue, in blue in your diagram. r is the number of reactionary forces created by the supports. So I've got a single reactionary force at D and two at E by virtue of the pin. Then in purple, the number of members, and there are seven members in this truss system. So we write that equation and we say is, does two times five equal to seven plus three? And the question is yes, so it's determinant. So with that said, when it, we have uh, made the calculation that it is determinant, the next thing we can do is we can take a look at the truss and make a few assumptions. Uh, the first assumption that we're going to say is the truss is not rocking back and forth, and by that I mean it's not rotating or pivoting. So as you remember from the moment calculations, that the moment of an object, m, is equal to the force that's perpendicular to a distance d from a rotational point. So graphically what that means is if I've got a point i, a distance d sub i, and a force f sub i that is perpendicular to that vector d i, what I then end up with is a moment, rotational moment, in this direction or clockwise. Now we will use our conventions when we talk about moments, so remember that if that was clockwise it would be a negative moment. So looking at our diagram, let's just carry this a step further and let's take a look here and say, hey, what do we have for moments at our diagram? And we see a force at A, we see a force at B, we see a force at D, and a force at E. All of those could create moments depending on where we measure it from. But so let's use our reference point is E, meaning that's our pivot point. So now the summation of our moments for the overall body, or m sub i, has to equal to zero. And that equals to the moment at A plus the moment at B plus the moment at D plus the moment at E. Now let's take a look at this special case because this is our rotation point. The moment at E, mathematically, is going to be the reactionary force at E in the y direction times the distance. The distance, you know, is going to be zero because we're measuring the moment relative to the point that is being pushed at. So because d equals to zero, then the moment at E equals to zero regardless of what the force is, regardless of what the force is. So that's kind of an important concept to, to understand why we don't include that. So I can now simplify my moment formulas and what I can say is the summation of moments within our truss is really equal to the moment at A which is 500 pounds times the distance from E to A which is four feet perpendicular to the force times four feet plus the moment at B which is 500 pounds times the distance perpendicular to the force D from E or force B from E which is two feet plus the moment at D which is the reactionary force D, the Y component, times the distance from D to E, which is two feet. 
Now let's take a look at the signs on these and see we've got the, the numbers, but the, they're not quite right because realize that is going down and down when we look at it. So it's 500 pounds down, so that's a negative in our summations. So we can simplify this formula, and what I'm going to do here now is transition to red, and I can simplify it and say R, F, D, Y times 2 feet equals to, I'm going to move uh, my moment at A and the moment at B to the other side of the equation. So uh, that equals to 500 pounds times 4 feet plus 500 pounds times 2 feet or equals to 3,000 pounds feet. So R, F, D, Y times 2 feet. So now what can I do? I can go ahead and do a little bit of algebra here. Divide this by 2 feet. Divide this by 2 feet. What do I get? I get cancels out here and I get my foot dimension cancels out and that equals to 1,500 pounds. Now notice it's positive. So what that means is it's pushing up. So let me update my diagram. First of all, my initial vector guess was correct. So I don't have to change that. But I'm going to write right in here 1,500 pounds up. So that's it. We found the force RFDY by summing my moments and assuming the zero or the overall body does not rotate. Stay tuned for more. The next thing we're going to do is look at all of the external forces reacting on our truss. Thanks for watching.